So welcome to the Plunk Pod. It's a self-contained unit that basically is kind of like a bachelor apartment all in one. The whole goal of our Plunk model is it's a really quick instant housing solution. So our Plunk Pod can pretty much be put anywhere. It's meant to be mobile and relocatable. So it's 10 by 32 and it has an integrated front deck connected to a solar generator so it's an off-grid solution as well the lights that are on right now are all powered by the solar panel so there's no noise no interruption for your neighbors you can literally plunk this just about anywhere as long as you can get the unit maneuvered into your site and with a power cord you're ready to go supply some fresh water potable water or some uh, storage tanks and then connection for either if you wanted a septic connection for the tank or you could just do an incinerator toilet so this unit has a multitude of um, options and uses. You could use it as a secondary suite in your backyard, a guest house, um, a hunt camp, an off-grid kind of cabin in the woods, almost anything. Because it's open concept, you're really not pigeonholed into one layout. We have it set up and staged this way, but it might not be the end use. We've tried to make the space flexible. So say you could use this as like an office pod if you need it in your backyard. Throw some bunk beds in the middle, it's perfectly spaced for that. A day bed, a pull-out couch, really you could tailor it to what your personal need may be. So this model um, particularly is made out of a variety of new construction products. Our um, skid or floor frame as we call it is a steel tubular frame and that allows us to really move it around in some rugged areas. The wall construction is actually a sip panel that's made out of a fiberglass reinforced panel with a foam uh, core to it. That gives us a really good R value but it's also light so as far as moving it or transporting it it doesn't have the weight as some of our heavier steel modules might have. Inside it's drywalled as well so you don't see the FRP panel finish so it looks like a regular look and feel of a home. Um, you might notice the ceiling is a little bit sloped so the, on the exterior there's a monoslope roof so that takes care of rainwater and uh, the exterior is clad with different materials just to give it a homier feel. So with the slope ceiling, you actually have a really nice height. I'm not overly tall but it's quite high here in the living room and then it slopes back to like a regular height as you enter the washroom. So transporting this module is still within the regular size. It's not an oversized by width or by length. And because it is a lighter unit, we can use either a tilt and load truck or a, just a flatbed trailer to move it. Normally foundation options with our steel uh, frame that it's on, it gives us a little bit more flexibility. We can put it on just cribbing like we have here today. Or if it's more of a permanent uh, location, you might want to put it on a concrete uh, slab or a helical piles. So the great thing about the entry to this plunk pot is the covered porch. So it's a nice space, it's just over four feet wide and it offers a nice covered entry as well. So you're not coming in, you know, getting poured rain on. There's a spot there to sit with two chairs comfortably, have maybe a spot for your shoes, unload your groceries, things like that. The one side is open and the other side has a, a wood feature privacy wall that has a louvered window in it to allow some extra ventilation. You can close it if you want some privacy or open it up just to have a bit better view and it's a patio door that you enter through, which also gives a lot of natural light to the space. We'd really tried to incorporate light and airiness in here just because it's not a huge space. We want it to feel bigger. And we do have a small kind of condensed living space, but you can fit a nice sectional like love seat in here. And then there's a TV kind of media area just to the other side. So this is the kitchen area. So we've tried to integrate some storage options throughout the room. In 320 square feet, it's hard to fit in a lot of things. So you really have to use flexible space. This uh, large uh, cabinet can be used as storage or a pantry or double. It's uh, two different sections to it. So even you could use it as one for storage, one for your pantry. The kitchen is just a long galley style kitchen. We have an extra uh, kind of wide but narrow sink here with the nice little um, features to it, stainless. It's set up for a bar size under counter fridge. And some of these drawers are just uh, the pull out style drawers. This is actually a concrete countertop, which ties in nicely with just the look and the feel. So this current setup doesn't have a cooktop or a stove, but it can be modified to either have a hot plate addition or an induction cooktop or even modified for a stove altogether. So depending on the use of the Plunk Pod, you may opt to have a full dining setup like this. We just have a little bar top with some stools um, or you may just plan on using a sitting area. So it allows you to kind of have that flexible space option. 
So just off the dining in the kitchen, we have a small little day bed set up here and we've also sized it for a drop down Murphy bed. So there's um, a lot of them on the market that have double space where when it's closed, it acts as like desk space as well. So it gives you kind of a dual purpose. Um, we also sized it for like a roll out trundle bed. So you could kind of have a double sitting area, like a sofa and a trundle bed. So in the bedroom area, there's also an operable window. So this is actually a casement style window that opens for some ventilation. That coupled with the patio door gets you a nice cross breeze. We can also set it up with a ductless split, which will take care of your heating and air conditioning. So then we'll move into the bathroom. This has an integrated pocket door, so it gives you a little bit of privacy as well without taking up a lot of room for the door swing. So if you tuck the door back, it's a full bathroom back here. So there's a nice little vanity, full size 36 by 36 shower, and your toilet. So as I mentioned before, there's a couple of options for the plumbing setup. We need a fresh water supply for water, you know, washing your hands, having a shower. And then there's some options for the wastewater. You could either do a connected to municipal services or a sewer tank or a holding tank or an incinerator toilet. There's also a bathroom fan, so it helps move air throughout the space and exhaust. This unit in particular has a mechanical room that's integrated right into the module with an outside access. It's tucked in just off the side of the bathroom behind this bed area, and it's a large space. It can house your electrical connection, your hot water tank connection, if you needed, say, a water tank as well. Really flexible. So there's two ways to power it, with a direct connection or with solar power. So this unit is hooked up to solar power right now and it's actually connected outside with a little solar power wagon. It's a mobile feature as well. And then if you wanted to actually integrate the solar panels, we would use our solar panel product that actually creates the roof. So your roof could be solar. And we do have a similar model that's kind of clad all in solar. So your walls are solar and your roof is solar. So no matter where the sun is, which way you're positioning on the lot, you're gonna get some solar power. So the whole goal of our plunk model is it's a really quick instant housing solution. So these are all prefabricated in our facility and we do have five different models. So some of the advantages are just the speed of construction. We build these in our facility so we're not worried about rain days or bad weather and obviously you can reduce your site time and your disruption. If your neighbors go to work one day and they come home and you've got a plunk pod in your backyard. Also, the relocatable nature of our plunk units allows you to move them. So if your lifestyle changes, location change, job change, you can literally pick this up on a truck and move it. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and please share this video if you liked it. You can also find out more about Northern Shield by visiting their website. Thanks for watching.